Grab a shovel, boys, because we're going to clean up this town. What's up, guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. If you remember last time, we went out on a little horse collection expedition of sorts, and we also took out the Freaker Gang, the, like, thieves or whatever. Um, and this time, I'm thinking we're going to help that uh, one chick at the bar that was asking to, us to go get her gun. And we also have enough money now that, or meat, I guess it is, to uh, buy ourselves a horse. So I'm thinking let's go get the gun, and then let's go get ourselves a horse. Sound good? Oh, and uh, I guess as long as we're here in the little uh, city there. So you remember all these little piles of, um, uh, or we're going to say excrement. Uh, I, I want to believe it's horse manure, but uh, it could be anything. <laughs> um, one of you guys, I uh, believe your name is Werfly. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. Uh, said that we can use our shovel on these, which uh, we, we need to give that a shot. Let's see. Provides the option to dig in certain places. Ooh, I didn't know that. We should go through each of these. Let's see. Um, we can use our dynamite and combat. We have a saber. That is nice. Uh, five to six damage versus our five to six damage crowbar. Um, let's, let's equip the saber. That sounds fun. Oh, wait. We need the shovel, though, right now. Um, oh, I guess we can use that just whenever. And then we have a dusty turnip. Uh, increases your muscle, mystically, and moxie uh, by one for the rest of the day. Oh, okay. So that's like a... Hmm. We'll save that for a big battle. Uh, let's see. Silver nugget. Uh, shiny nugget of silver. Uh, unrefined meat nugget. <laughs> just just sell it. <laughs> That's all it says. Uh, let's see. The broken board, which we could probably sell that later. The gold tooth, crowbar, and the bag of homing oats. Okay. So we got a little bit of everything. All right. Let's see if we can uh, take care of this thing here. Shovel it. Yeah. All right. Let's clean up this town. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's nasty work, but somebody's got to do it. Mm-hmm. Also, props, yes, that was uh, Werfley's joke as well. Let's clean up this town. <laughs> One giant pile of manure at a time. Oh, man. I love when you guys give me all these, uh, like, tips in the comments. Because, uh, like, I'll be doing something just completely the wrong way. Ooh, wait, what's this? Some loose dirt. Somebody buried a mug here. We got a new mug. Heck yeah, let's go see the, the bartender. I just I want to give it to him straight now. Let's see. Um, bar. Yep. All right. Here you go, sir. Have a mug. Much obliged. You're welcome, sir. Gain 25 meat. Uh, you tip your hat to the bartender. Me bartender? Just thought I'd say howdy. <laughs> uh, okay. You know what? I'm almost thinking we should sell that nugget to the, the old guy in there. Oh, wait. We got something new. Oh, no, I guess not. Okay. Well, don't say new if we didn't get something new. All right. Uh, the Cotrang Ranch, or whatever it's called. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look around here. Uh, the Call Chain Ranch, estimated 1891. Ouch. I think that there's got to be a um, perk of some kind that lets us, like, harvest uh, cactus. Not entirely sure. All right, we got a bathtub. All the water in this trough has boiled away. Oh, wow, it must be really hot out here. Susie's Ranch House has been burned to the ground. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought it was just, like, little pieces of the yard. But uh, apparently, it's uh, that that's the chimney, so she wasn't kidding when it really burned to the ground. Uh, something's behind this door is making some pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway? Um, yeah, wow, that sounds pretty bad. All right, whoa, it's the basement. Uh, the, the cellar. Let's see, anything here? Hello? Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Ooh, let's grab it. You got another bit. Varmint skin and knife. I wonder how much damage this does. Uh, it does four to five. Allows you to collect skins from beasts after combat. Heck yeah. That's nice. These pies were not safe. Oh, man. Ooh. Whoa! Is that a... Is that one of the cows they were talking about? Ooh. I wonder if we should get close to it. Oh, there's the gun safe. You see it right behind it? Uh, okay. Hello. This thing looks angry. You're not going to make it to that safe without dealing with it. Should we deal with it? Yeah, let's give it a shot. All right. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. Sorry there, Mike. All right. Bring it on. We got the jump on him. We have two action points. I'm thinking... Uh, let's see. The target... A Pyro buff? Pyro buff? Heart is 15, muscle is 2, moxie is 2, and hot resistance. Oh, it's 50%. See, I was going to use the uh, the bean to, uh, like, destroy him. Uh, but if he's got a heat, hot resistance of 50%, we, we shouldn't do that. Let's uh, let's cast a spell. Bean power! Plus 4 armor. All right. And let's see. We have 6 to 7. Or, oh, yeah. Well, heck yeah. Let's use our sword. All right. hi -ya! 6 heart. That's right. Um, ouch. 
three heart, and we're on fire. That is not good. All right, let's attack again. Hiya, sir. Ooh, seven damage. Ooh, okay. So we got we got one more go. Um, oh, you know what? Let's use our, our beam for the final one. Uh, cast a spell. One action point. Aye, yeah. boom. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, see, since uh, he had the heat resistance, it did do less damage. Victory! Press any key to continue. You defeated the Nazi cow skull floating in a cloud of flame. You gained 6 HP. Or XP. <laughs> uh, hooray! Oh, let's get the gun! Heck yeah! It's got your family's gun safe. Grab Susie's rifle. Baboosh! You got an item, Susie's rifle. Man, I wonder if she'd let us keep it. How much damage can it do? Uh, let's see. Susie's rifle. Oh, it won't. Let's see. Uh, it's an old rifle, but it has uh, has been obviously well cared for. There are six little notches carved into the stock. I wonder what the notches are for. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything else around here. What's inside this? The outhouse is the only thing still standing. <laughs> ouch, 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 ow, 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 dang it, ow. Huh. Wait, you got a perk. Most loose calves. No way. What's this do? Um, oh, I guess it's not, I guess it's not in here, but, uh, we, we got the perk number. Oh, wait, here it is. Character. Um, What was it called? Moxie, Bean Shield. Man, I haven't seen any of this. Um, Oh, here it is. Mostly scabs. Let's see. You've been poked uh, by so many cactuses that your body has built up an entire extra set of skin uh, caterpillars or capillaries or something just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Plus five maximum HP. No way. Oh, man. We need to just like dink around more. All right. Uh, let's head on back to town and give little Susie her gun. Hey, Susie. We got you a gun. It was Susie, right? I think that was her name. All right. Uh, you find my rifle yet, stranger? Uh, yep, here she is. Uh, Susie's eyes. Oh, yeah. Susie's eyes well up with tears. Uh, as you hand her the rifle. Here you are, Susie. Um, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve across her face before they spill over. She's like, I, I, I ain't crying. Just had something in my eye. <coughs> Thanks, stranger. I, I I didn't catch your name. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm Earl, your savior and shining knight, I will say. Um, and errand boy, honestly. <laughs> uh, thanks, Earl. Uh, <sighs> can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back at you. She sighs. I'm in love with my rifle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's enough waller and misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want me to tag along with your head west, you just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. Heck yeah, let's have a partner. All right, uh, let's see. Thanks again for getting my rifle. Let me know if you need anything or if you want me to come with you when you head west. Okay, so I guess we have to come back to her uh, when we do that. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and sell that uh, nust, or the, the one, uh, the, the one nugget. Let's see, not the silver one, but the, um, the old one, let's see. The unrefined ore, ooh, uh, wait a minute. Okay, which one was the unrefined one? The gold tooth unrefined meat nugget i feel like we should just save it i mean it's only 75 hopefully we hopefully that's not a mistake okay let's head on over to the horsery here all right hello mister uh, afternoon sir what can i do for you uh can you sell me a horse please thank you uh, uh, sure thing i should warn you horses get mighty attached to the rider if you know what i mean once you bought one you won't be able to change your mind later Let's see, what are you interested? I'll take the basic model, I'll take the shifty looking dark one, I'll go with the spooky pale one, or give me the one with the crazy eyes, or let me think about it. I didn't know that we could take one. Oh, so we could get the generic model, or we could get any of these. I kinda wanna get the, oh, is it the typical horse, the most uncomfortable horse when you look directly at her, the, the ghost horse, that would be so cool. Or um, the horse of someone who has seen the madness that dance on the other side of the world. I kinda wanna get the introverted horse. I just, I feel like he needs a friend. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. All right, sell me a horse. Let's see. I'll go with the spooky pale one or the, the shifty, yeah, the shifty dark one. <laughs> I liked how he like uh, like uh, tricked us uh, uh, about getting out of the cave without us seeing him. He, he seems to know his stuff. All right, I'll take the shifty looking dark one. Good choice. Uh, she's a sneak sneaky one. I'll sell you to her for 1,000 meat. When you say sneaky, uh, yeah, yeah, what's that is? Um, well, she's real quiet and she, she likes dark places. Um, yeah, yeah, I remember. Um, let's see. And just look how she's trying to hide behind the other horse now. She seems pretty smart. I'll take her. <laughs> she's like, I don't want any part of this. Ooh, I wonder if she'd run off if, if we ended up taking her. 
Let, let's let's ask about the other horses. I want to get her, but I don't want to get her and have her just run off immediately. I don't want her to be sad. All right, let's see. What's uh, the spooky pale one? Tell me about her. Let's see. A good choice. That's a good horse. If you like that sort of thing, I'll sell her for 1,000 meat. Uh, what sort of thing? Uh, you know, uh, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff? Um, I don't want to get into particulars, but let's just say she uh, gets uh, sets a certain tone. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, let me look at my options again. All right, um, let's ask about the, the the one with the crazy eyes. I, I don't want to get the generic horse. That's just like too generic for us. All right, uh, I'll go. Give me the one with the crazy eyes. Uh, ah, okay. I gotta warn you. This horse has uh, seen some uh, some stuff. <laughs> what kind of stuff? But I'll sell him for one thousand meat. Uh, is something wrong with him? No, no not as such. Uh, he's uh, perfectly functional. Uh, but. <laughs> Uh, but he's always sneaking off to thousand takes gulch to chew on local weed that grows there. And that makes him see crazy things? Uh, I think it's more that he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time. Uh, color me intrigued, I'll take him. Or let me look at the other options again. You know what? I feel like there's a really good chance that the introverted horse is going to leave. But I think he needs a friend. And, and sometimes sometimes they need a little extra push. Other times they just need to be left alone. <laughs> um, all right. Let's take the shifty dark one. Let's buy our dark horse. I'll take her. Um, thanks. Here's the keys. Oh, wait. We got a uh, achievement. A real underdog. Heck yeah. All right. Here's the keys. Ride safe. Wait. The, the keys to the horse? Just start her up. <laughs> Give her a name. Ooh, we can name her. Oh, oh, oh man, I, I didn't even think about this. Uh, an introverted name, I feel like. Or she's got like the sneaky, oh man, could go for so many different things. We could call her, you know what? Let, let's call her Bla Bla Fifth Four. Bla Fifth Four. Four? Bla Fifth Four, yeah. Bla Fifth Four, the beautiful stallion. <laughs> Are you sure you want to name your uh, horse Bla Fifth Four? Yes! Thank you. All right then, bluff it for the horse. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> bluff it for. <laughs> All right then. Oh, let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Uh, you got an item. Southeast West map. Ooh, Southeast West map. What? South South East West map. I don't. Wouldn't that should be South? <laughs> All right. Thanks. Uh. All right. Ride bluff it for out of town. Uh, let's go talk to Susie, just to make sure that she can come with us. All right. Uh, okay. So we talked to her. So, wait, let's just make sure there isn't anything else that, uh, let's see. We got something new, but it doesn't say what it is. Why do they keep telling me we got something new? Was there anything else that we needed to do here? We went to the Orho mine. We didn't get enough of that, uh, oh, what was it? The dynamite to be able to, to blow up that one thing. Let's see if the Braid's got any new trades. Hey, Braid. Howdy. Um. Let's see. Well, I'm still trading uh, locks for soap. Um, no trades right now. Okay. I guess that's everything. Nothing in here. We must have missed something. That's a bummer. Oh, well. Let's hightail it on to out of town. Ride Bluff it for out of town, you betcha. Uh, let's see. Once you leave Boring Springs, you won't be able to come back. Any unfinished business you, uh, you've got will re uh, forever remain unfinished. Are you sure you're ready to leave? Uh, let's say on second thought one more time just to make sure that we don't have to do that to to get Susie to come along Okay, well I, I Think we've done everything so let's give it a shot right blood fit for yes Alrighty then you properly horsed and ready to start your new life in the West all you need now is a partner partner <laughs> uh, Somebody to share the trail with somebody you can rely on for emotional and combative support who will you take with you take crazy Pete <laughs> take Susie Cotrain. Go it alone. Not recommended. On second thought, don't leave that. Oh, we're gonna take Susie. Definitely. She 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 is incredible when it comes to the the combat side of things, and she's got a little emotion side. So you know, if things get tough, we got somebody that we can rely on and can get, help us through the trials. All right, take Susie Cotrain. All right, uh, you pop on back to the saloon and collect Susie. Come along, Susie. We're going on an adventure. Hit the trail. All right. Oh, you consult the southeast west map that Hostler gave you. Uh, it only lists two things. The town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company westernmost camp. <laughs> you discover a new location. The town of Dirtwater or the Manifest Destiny Railroad Camp. Uh, I want to go to... Oh, wait. Head for Dirtwater. Why can't I go to the, the railroad camp? Okay. Day one. The first day of the rest of your life. That's a good way to look at it. We got a room for rent and it looks like Susie, she's really getting into things. All right, Susie, talk to me. 
It's your partner. Oh, whoa, look at this, young gentleman. Hello. Oh, oh, hey, chef. Oh, man, there's, like, pe people moving all over the place. All right, let's talk to the... What's new, Susie? Um, I'd like to check up on some of uh, the ranches in these parts. She's so hard to read for. All right. I'd like to check up on some of the ranches in these parts. See how bad the cow attacks are getting. All right. Do you know, uh, do you know some? Uh, not in great detail, but I know uh, roughly where a few are at. <laughs> or at least where a guest will have to see. That's one not, uh, there's one not too far from here. You discover a new map location. The St Stearns Ranch. What do you think we should do next? Or am I forgetting about anything? Uh, let's ask her what we should do next. Um, hmm. Well, we're looking to get a move on westward. I reckon the train's the way to go. Oh, didn't that map the hostel gave you have a marker for some railroad camp or other? Might be worth checking out. A good idea. Any other ideas? Um, let's say good idea first. Oh, wait. Wait, we still wanted to talk. Yeah, let's see. Uh... Any other ideas? Yeah, Susie says you should uh, see the bartender about renting a room in Dirt Rocker. It, it, it'd be nice to have a room of operations. I agree. All right, thanks for the reminder. All right, room for rent, or inquire within. Do we have to go upstairs? Okay, Let's, uh, I guess we'll go on the front door. All right, ooh, another, the Jewel Saloon. I really enjoy my saloon. Ooh, we got another spit jar. Um, let's see what's in here. This is a spittoon, which is a sort of brass bucket that people spit into instead of spitting on the floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because not spitting at all is not an option in this society, I guess. Very true, very true. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty uh, intimately familiar with spittoons already. Sicko. <laughs> right, right, because we got so into it last time. Inspect it. All right, time to do this again. Look, the Jewel Spl uh, Saloon is pretty nice as saloon goes. An actual glass is in the windows. <laughs> actual glass is in the windows. Uh, uh, more th uh, than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cock uh, fighting pit. Uh, but the spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit isn't... Uh, it that isn't fancy rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it or forget it. Uh, inspect it as always. Wow, okay. <sighs> Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down uh, next to a brass filth bu bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low. Low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? Uh, no, that's bad, because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. Ugh! This brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit, the toxins and the pilt that don't evaporate. Um, there's several years worth, distilled and concentrated, uh, concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses. Blech. People aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore, because they bounce out. Search it, or okay, uh, hold on, I'm gonna grab a glass of water here. Oh, okay, thanks. All right, so let's see. People aren't allowed to fix. Uh, all right, let's search, let's search the spittoon bucket. All right, you're about to put your hand into a bucket of something. The color and viscosity could be a maple syrup. Instead, except instead of maple, it's covered with the inside of mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth. Yeah. Uh... <coughs> It feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding. I love tapioca pudding. Uh, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. Oh, okay, not as great. Uh, it smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. <laughs> it feels like your hand is dissolving. Uh, keep searching. Yep, we're gonna go all the way. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-colored porcelain cow figure. All right! A useless, disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children. Assuming you're still able to have any, and you hate them. <laughs> uh, you got an item. Filth porcelain cow. All right! All right! Um, that, that was definitely worth it. Remember, you see a spittoon bucket any place, it's always worth sticking your hand in. That is definitely good advice. <laughs> Poker room. I love that it's got little quotes on it. Hmm, I wonder what's actually going down there. Uh, let's see. The piano player is not very good at his job. No, no, he's not. You can kind of hear it there. All right. The old man stares off in the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. All right. He doesn't react to you at all. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh, the, the man points to the sign on the counter. Slop is five meat. Uh, yeah, let's buy some slop. You lose five meat, and you got an item, plate of slop. Cool. Let's see what that does. Um, plate of slop. Uh, increase your maximum HP by five for the rest of the day. That is really nice. Uh, this place is, uh, this is a plate of slot they serve at the Jewel and Dirt Water. They really should, uh, they should hi really hire better kitchen staff before uh, some competing restaurant moves in and eats their lunch. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we can buy more, too. Oh, that's really nice. It gives us five meat for the rest of the day. Heck yeah, let's buy one more. You should eat the slot you've already bought before you buy more slot. Oh, okay. 
Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Um, actually, you know what? Let's wait until we, we've actually got a fight to go for first. Um, actually, in case, in case, uh, I keep going back and forth. We're gonna eat it now. Why not? All right. Eat it. You choke down the slop, wondering why pigs always seem to enjoy this stuff so much. <laughs> you gain an effect. Slop fed. Ooh. What, what is this effect? Uh, let's find out. Slop. Slop. Uh, doesn't, I'm not seeing the effect. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Okay, let's talk to these young ladies over here. One seems very upset about something, and one seems to just be enjoying life. All right, hello. Hey, uh, hey, how come they're allowed to drink without hats on? Oh, wait, that's just us talking. Oh, <laughs> like bringing out the guns. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that like a rule that you had to have? There's a sign that says, see bartender for darts. Heck yeah, let's play around round of darts. Oh, wait, uh, these guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. <laughs> I think both of your guns are very nice, sir and sir. Um, oh, is that Susie? This gal, oh, no, this gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. Yeah, that sounds like Susie. Uh, it must be her sister or something. Oh, uh, how do you say? Uh, always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm Earl. Uh, glad to know you, Earl. Uh, folks around here just call me Lloyd. Uh, little Lloyd. Uh, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, nice to meet you, Little Lloyd. <laughs> uh, I, I saw a sign out front advertising a room. Do you need help with anything? Uh, I'll have a shot of bourbon. Ooh, yeah. Uh, who's the old man by the piano? Can I get some darts? Man, there's so much we can ask him. Let's uh, let's have a shot of bourbon. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's be cheery with him. So then he'll open up to us a little bit. I'll take uh, I'll take a shot of bourbon, sir. Uh, uh, you lose five meat. You got an item? Dirt water bourbon. Awesome. Ready to go, sir. Hmm. Saw the fine. Let's see. Do you need help with anything? Uh, well, if you're having to do with mechanical type stuff, something's gone wrong with our piano uh, player, uh, piano player. What? <laughs> I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, not supposed to sound like that. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Sure. Uh, thanks. I poked around in here myself, but I lost a key. Uh, this has suddenly taken a strange turn. Okay. Let's ask him something else. Uh, let's see. Lloyd. Uh, yeah. Can I get a room? Yeah. All right, that's right. Furnish room now. It's been plenty of room for your partner, too. Are you interested? Uh, uh how much does it cost? Uh, uh well, we're, uh, that's where you're in rock. The previous tenant was a, b uh, banker fellow, and he paid a month in advance, right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent short, so the room's yours if you want it. Great, uh, greatest. Wow, free? Heck yeah. Uh, wow, great. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Can you get us anything else? Um, who's the old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fellow he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to tell the stories, but nobody were buying. Uh, too weird, his stories. Uh, fantastical like. Stupid stuff for kids, or too bad I love that stuff. Um, yeah, I love fantastical stuff. Um, well, it doesn't matter much now, anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends work. Did passion well at a, as a prospector until one day he lost his mind, uh, in a mind. <laughs> what? Uh, he what now? Um... You know what I mean? <laughs> he lost his mind in a mine, I think is what he was trying to say. Uh, you know what I mean? He saw something. Something that made him stop uh, telling his weird tales. Made him stop near completely come to that. He just stands there by the pianos nowadays. It uh, seems to calm him down. As long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind him too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Oh, poor fellow. Gosh. No. Let's see. Uh, can I get some darts? Yes. Uh, hmm? uh, the sign on the dartboard says uh, uh, to see you for darts. Uh, sorry, all the darts got broken months ago. Uh, that's disappointing. Um, all right, I guess that's it. Yeah, we're still working on the piano. All right, let's go uh, talk to the guy that's staring off in the distance. Uh, poor old Ellsbury. Poor guy. All right, the piano player is not very good at his job. Try to fix him. No, 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 here's the thing. They keep talking about him like he's part of the piano. Like, so I'm not sure what's going on. We're going to find out. You just the piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. What? Yeah, it's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Ooh, we can pick the, the lock. Requires a needle. Oh, do we not have one? I thought we still had one. I guess we used them all. All right, we're going to have to find another needle. All right, um... Go to the kitchen, go to the poker room. Let's go to our bedroom. Let's let's see the place we got here. Um, it's your partner. Talk. Hey, we got ourselves a room, Susie. Uh, hey, Susie, what do you think of the place? Uh, it's all right. Town's a bit busy for my taste, but it makes a chain for being on the road. Uh, 
Gotta wash the dust off once in a while, right? Aye. Yeah. Uh, then you can go up uh, back and collect some fresh new dust. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna laugh at that. That's funny. Oh wait, I wanted to continue. Uh, no, let's just continue that. I was gonna tell her about the room. Oh well, <laughs> she got in here before us. How do you teleport like that, Susie? All right, you look at yourself in the mirror. Insult yourself. You call yourself a yellow-headed lily jack, uh, lily-headed jerk. You get in effect angry. <laughs> Insult yourself again. Heck yeah. You better not insult yourself anymore. If you're getting angry, you're liable to pass out. What, what's the effect? Angry? I'm not seeing where all these effects are. Maybe they'll tell us later. Um, ooh, wait. Whoa. So we got a lot of different places we can go. Oh, and it shows us where we are right now. Oh, maybe in case we spread out or something. Uh, it'll show the icons. This is Susie's bed. Um, it's your partner. Talk. Um, am I forgetting about anything? So she says, uh, until the bartender in the jewel saloon. All right. That's nice. She'll let us know kind of what we're still doing. What tasks. It's your bed. We can sleep. Oh, there's a postcard on the little table. Let's take it. You got an item. Blank postcard. Okay. Nice view from up here. <laughs> it looks like a picture. All right. I, I thought about sleeping, but I, I, I think I better not. Ooh. Oh, we can go straight outside. That's cool. Um, all right. Let's head on to the poker room. All right. Yeah. Deal me in, boys. We got money to spare. Actually, yeah, we have 1,000 meat. We could buy another horse if we wanted to. This poster says, rules of poker, followed by hundreds of wheels roll, rules in tiny print. Uh, Cross-eyed jacks are wild, unless accompanied by a pair of jacks. What? Uh, okay. Um, threes are wild, and deuces are clubs. Uh, and deuces of clubs are wa double wild? What? Threes are wild, I get that. But deuces, that, that's a two. So deuces of clubs are double wild. Oh. Well, deuces of clubs. Double wild. What does double wild mean? Um, a player passing out drunk at the table immediately wins the game. <laughs> so, you know what? We don't even have to worry about playing. We just drink as much as we can. Read another. Um, sixes are wild, and jacks of hearts are double wild. What? Uh, threes are wild, accompanied uh, by four clubs. Any player caught with a po pocket eight must draw a new hand of cards. Player who draws an ace must draw an additional 22 cards. A flush beats a Canadian straight. Look at all these things. I want to read through them because sometimes they, um, they, they they give you little perks. Nope. All right. Let's see. This table is full up. No room at this table. Or uh, there's an empty seat. Let's play another round of poker. All right. Let's bring out our cards here. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back and sits down next to you. The lady to the right introdu introduces herself as Clementine. And the player to the left... Uh, says his name is Woody. The dealer tells you that the ante is 20 meat. Heck yeah, let's hand up. Uh, let's see, you lose 20 meat. The dealer gives uh, the deck a shuffle and the deals. A hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's the first round. The pot is 60 meat and you estimate your chance of winning is around 10%. Ooh, we could use gumption and uh, strategize or we could check. I feel that since we just uh, entered, like they don't really know how we play. So we could play, we could, uh, strategize we could check Ooh, we could check for 10 percent win yeah let's check and then let's use our gumption uh because it won't cost us anything you narrow uh, your eyes and check plus 10 percent win chance clementine scowls and raises Ooh, let's call it let's see you lose 20 meat um it's the second round of betting the pot is 120 meat and you estimated your chance of winning at around 20 percent we could check again oh man we need more grit we should have done the grit at the beginning uh moxie raise Oh, we have three moxie. Let, yeah, let's, let's do a moxie raise. Heck yeah. You, uh, you grin slyly and raise by 20 meat. All right, 20 meat. Are you in or are you not? <laughs> are you in or are you in? Uh, it's the last round of betting. Time to do or die. The pot is 180 meat, and you estimate your chances of winning at around 20%. Uh, gumption strategize. Ooh, or check. I think we're going to uh, gumption strategize. Let's try that. Uh, let's see. It's the last round of bet. Or let's see. You cock your hat at the uh, jaunty angle. <laughs> Plus 20% win chance. Oh my gosh, that's great. <laughs> so we're like, mm hmm, and the, it intimidates them. Reveal your cards. Okay. Uh, time to find out. You force your opponent to read them a weep. A flush. Oh, yeah. Clementine shrugs as she reveals a Canadian trush, a flush. Wait, is that not good? Woody, Woody turn, turns over straight. You lost? No. What, what the heck is a Canadian flush? Dang it. The dealer tells you that Andy's 20 meat. You know what? We're, we're not, we're not going to walk away from this. I, I'm not, I'm not like hooked on gambling or anything, but, um, oh, dang it. We don't have any more uh, gumption. All right. Um, oh wait, we do have enough. All right. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. 20% win rate. All right. Forcefully, uh, strategize, check or 20% meat, 
uh, with one gumption. I think let's keep doing the gumption. We're gonna we're gonna keep raising it up. All right, continue the game. Uh, gumption raise, yeah, or or clever strategize. Um, let's see, our winning chance is forty percent right now. It's the last round. This would raise it up to, to 60% chance. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting into this. I'm like, how should we do this? All right, we're, we're grin slightly and raise by 20 meat. 20, we we'll raise you 20. All right, uh, you furrow your brow and turn you over cars. A Nevada flush. Uh, Clementine sighs and reveals her uh, hand a flush. Uh, Quiddy shrugs revealed a Tennessee straight. I lost? What? No, not again. Oh my gosh. All right, one more, one more. No, this will be the last one. I promise we're not gonna... <laughs> Our old wife back's home is gonna be so angry at us. All right, uh, okay. Uh, Glamorous we raise, or, or um, Moxley strategize. You know what, I think we're just gonna keep raising. I think we're just gonna keep raising. Oh wait, oh, hmm. Hmm. Should we do Moxie or should we do the Glamour? Let's try Glamour. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Wait, what did that do? Oh, it did nothing. Gosh, dang it. All right, let's strategize with grit, 20%. Uh, let's strategize again with gumption. Uh, let's see. Uh, you frown and reveal flush. Clementine smiles broadly and reveals her card. A Nevada straight. Um, why does she smile? Uh, Woody has a Tennessee straight. Wait, you win! Oh, yeah, baby! We got 120 meat! In all honesty, we probably won the same amount that we, we spent on this game. Walk away. Yep, we, we lost more than we <laughs> than we actually got in that. Dang it, me and my stinking gambling problems. Oh, wait, what is this down here? Oh! Oh, these are perks that we have right now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I was wondering where these were. Oh, you're madder in a hornet and... If, uh, and your anger level gets higher than uh, one, you'll pass out from rage. <laughs> so we have plus three muscle, plus three uh, mystiality, plus three moxie, and plus three uh, heart. Well, I think I'm gonna leave that episode here. Wow, that was a lot of fun. A new town, we got ourselves a new horse, a new partner, a new room, a new place to explore, and uh, we're pretty good at gambling, I will say, even though <laughs> we, we, we lost more than we won. But we did win, that is the key effort there. Remember that, however many times you lose in life, and if you at least win once, it still counts. <laughs> anyway, Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will see you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>